How y'all doing, baby? It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday indeed. You know how come you know it's Wednesday? Well, because you see Clyde right over there. Clyde the camel. She can burn his sand, baby. Yeah, you notice a little thing's different there. Uh, uh, he now has a little palm tree next to him. Uh, contract negotiations with his with his uh, new uh, agent there, Mr. Uh, Chihuahua with the sunglasses on there. Uh, so he wanted uh, some props and a spotlight there and everything. So negotiations worked out fine and we figured out, yes, baby, it's Wednesday. We're halfway through another pitiful week, baby. Apologize for being late today. Uh, I am I am still waiting on word from Tennessee. Uh, my brother, who several months ago was in a nursing home, he's got advanced case stages of uh, Parkinson's. He fell and broke his hip, and uh, had to have surgery. Went to rehab hospital. Last night, he was transported back to the nursing home he originally was in. Four hours later, he, he fell and he broke his other hip. He's in surgery and we're waiting on words. So if I've been distracted all day, I uh, apologize for that, but I'm concerned for my brother's health. And uh, shit, you know how what they say about broken. Anyway, it is indeed Wednesday, baby. Halfway through a pitiful week. We had a great meeting last night in our Blue Dot family meeting. And I was a bit perturbed. I was a bit pissed. I was mad as shit. After the death of George Floyd up in Minneapolis. And they had crowds last night. They had a disturbance last night. And I don't blame them. Outrage is spreading across this country over this. Outrage over, over two in a row here, baby. Real quick. One, two. Uh, Ahmaud Aubrey out in Georgia. Now George Floyd. Murder right there in front of the front of the camera, baby. I think it was uh, uh, Will, uh, that actor, who said that uh, this morning that uh, that racism isn't increasing; it's just being filmed, and that's what we see. And we need to see justice. In, in, in a rapid way here. Justice denied, justice delayed is justice denied. Ain't that what they always say? The Aubrey case out in Georgia needs to proceed quickly because they've already had, in that county, in my opinion, two DAs that rejected the case. I don't want to take the case and all this shit. I want to recuse myself. This knowledge of that tape was floating around that city for several months and no action was taken. And then we came to George Floyd, who I find out was originally from Houston. I repeat what I saw, and I think what everybody else saw in that video was outright murder, and that those officers should be held accountable, just as in the McMichael case in Georgia, the son and the father and Roddy, whoever, whatever his name was, are all being held accountable because they were all complicit in the crime. They didn't stop it. They were part of it in the same way with this officers up in Minneapolis. You can't call yourself an officer of the law if you stand there and watch a man commit murder, if you stand there and do nothing while one man is choked to death. We have a lot to fix in this country, a lot to fix, and this election isn't going to fix everything, but it's a hell of a good start. I've never seen a more important election in my lifetime. This is it, baby. Either we fix this country, we heal this nation, as Joe said. We heal the soul of it, or we can kiss it goodbye, baby. Because right now, there's a man in our house who doesn't give a shit, who would just as seen, soon as see it burned into the ground in his glorious name. Oh, his glorious name's pissed off right now because he's mad at Twitter. Oh, Twitter, Twitter put a thing down there on his little tweet while he's trying to frame Joe Scarborough for murder. You know, just things typically a president does. 
and they put a disclaimer on it saying that it was misleading. Well, Donnie's threatening to shut down all of social media. I'm going to shut them down. Go ahead, dickwad. Try it out. See how that works out for you. It's another empty just threat, just something to throw out there because the very stable genius is very good at destruction and chaos. And that, that is how he is governed. Since he came in, he started kicking over trash cans, calling people names, just sitting around shitting in his diaper, staking up the White House, having his kids rummage through anything they can get their grubby little hands on. I'm embarrassed for this country. Anyway, spent the time uh, tweeting about mail fraud. Now we're going to steal the election and all that. And on a side note, I just noticed that Kelly... Uh, Mc, uh, Kelly Kelly McKinney, uh, the little darling of his new press secretary, has voted by mail for the last 10 years. Oh, holy shit, no shit, no fraud there. Little tidbits like that just piss you off. You know, it, it, this mail fraud bullshit, it's a layup, baby. It's a layup to a rigged election. They cheated. They stole everything by mail. I'm still the president. I'm the glorious. You can all see it laid out. As he tumbles deeper into some kind of maniatic freaking episode here. Shit. It's not just him. It's our whole government, baby. Bar, really? The pitiful excuse for much a lawyer, much less anything else. He's a scumbag a lawyer for the mob, mob, mobsters. <laughs> you know, you you grapple with words when you do this shit because you want to convey your thoughts. You want you want to get it out there just about how serious this is and how you you're watching society just go down a hill, rolling towards a big cesspool. And there are millions of our fellow Americans who are pushing it, cheering it on. Get it down in the ditch, baby. Protect the glorious leader. Proclaim him to be the best. The, the depth that the Republican Party has sunk to is below the sewer. It, it, it's, it, it's just down now scum at the bottom of it. That's how low they have gone. And it pains me to see any political party try to exercise control over over the voting of every American in this country in vain attempts that they hope they're going to win if they block everybody that every everybody from voting Pro proclaim everything to be a disaster well we're in the middle of a disaster we've passed over a hundred thousand Americans dead from this COVID-19 well this babbling baboon Jets off to go watch a, 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 a space launch, which I was very disappointed to see didn't happen. They had to cancel for weather. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a launch like that here from the United States. And, and uh, that's a side note. They're going to put it off, I guess, till Saturday or something like that. But Donnie flew down there to, to watch it, and I guess he'll swing by Mar a Largo. Golden sunshine, golden showers, and fine Russian hospitality, baby. Mar Largo, y'all come visit if you got lots of money to donate, you know. A little under the. Yeah. So I guess he'll be heading down to. Hey, Boeing lays off 7,000 employees. What happened to all the freaking money we just gave them? To keep the employees, to pay the employees. Yeah, they, get, yeah, yeah that, they, they got the money. Screw the employees. That's how that shit always works. You know, being consumed here in the last several days with this video. I noticed a story this morning that Christian Cooper, Christian Cooper is the black man that was standing in, in, or bird watching in, in Central Park when Amy Cooper, not related, white woman who unleashed her dog, got in a, got in a discussion there and, and, and she made a complete ass out of herself calling the police right there on the videotape and acting like a fool. Well, the internet went nut on her. And uh, she lost her job. She's saying, oh, my life is, is, is a disaster now. Yeah. Well, who lit the fuse on that bomb, lady? You know, with video cameras everywhere now. When you're a racist asshole, people point it out. But I was impressed 
by Christian Cooper, the black man who has now put out a plea for people to stop harassing her, to stop threatening her, to stop... He is taking up for her, standing up and saying, please don't do this. The black man who was accused of accosting her, accused of threatening her life, is now standing up and trying to protect her life. It doesn't take a lot of effort to be a good citizen. And Christian is showing us exactly how to do that. I'm proud of him for that. Does she deserve it? I don't know the lady. I just know how she acted in that park. I don't know that cop in Minnesota but I saw what he did. And there is only one outcome of that, and that's a murder conviction. Anybody else, that's what would happen. So we will wait and see. Anyway, <laughs> my final note. It starts with compassion. That's a little note there. Remind myself. What, I, what do you want to finish with, John? It starts with compassion. Empathy. Caring about our fellow American citizens. Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious. You remember that shit? Jesus loves all the little children of the world. Cute song. It starts with us, baby. It starts with us. It starts with our daily life every day of how we want to present ourselves to the public. What we want to do, how far you will go to help your fellow man. Integrity, baby. Every day you practice that shit. You try to be the best person that you can be in that moment. Ain't none of us got a perfect past. Hell, we've made mistakes, all of us. Some of us big time, baby. And you learn from the mistakes. You gather a little wisdom in your head by the time you get my age, I guess. Or at least you like to think so. But then I've seen a lot of videos with guys with gray beards standing out there making an ass out of themselves, holding a rebel flag or some bullshit. So that little theory doesn't always pan out to be true. We can only do what we can do. As Joe recommended, I watched The Dash about the dash between the time you're born and the time you die. What did you do with your dash? What does your dash look like? Well, it ain't gonna be a perfect dash. But as it goes on in life, it got better. And that's all we're asking everybody to do. You know better, you do better, that kind of shit. Anyway, that's about all I got. I can't go live because when our new Router fried up the other night. So did my capability to go live here in the shop. But we will be back live up in the a house uh, tomorrow night for another Blue Dot family meeting. I'm, I'm so enjoying that. I appreciate those that come by and visit us with, with us. Uh, the after party in the blue room was just outstanding. It went on for about an hour and a half, I guess. Uh, just great conversation. And uh, I enjoy every minute of it. So thank you all for being there and uh, being a part of this. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, John Brillwell, Blue Dot in Texas, all that kind of stuff. Let your little blue light shine, baby. That's all I can tell you. Try to be the best that you can be every day and pull up those better angels, baby. We'll see y'all later. Bye.